We're live here with Fragger. What's up, guys? Mirror. We're gonna talk a little bit about Zero Suit Paralyzer. So, the backstory on this discussion is last tournament where I got bodied super hard. Dakpo uh, asked why I opted to use Short Hop Paralyzer, a la the Choco method from Japan. He's known for setting up using a lot of uh, Short Hop Paralyzer while. In, or in, in, in lieu of using grounded uh, uh, paralyzer reversal as a zoning option, uh, just so we're on the same page, I'll go ahead and kind of show you guys what they look like in practice so we know what we're talking about. And then after that, I'll try to kind of go into maybe the benefits or what each one's designed for. Because I think they're not used, I think, think of them in the context of being options that are alternatives to each other or, you know, mutually exclusive options isn't the correct way of looking at it. They just kind of are designed for certain different things. So, when you're zoning, you know, you work off neutral air a lot with, with this character. And Choco, what he likes to do is he'll short hop Paralyzer away as a, as a zoning villain. And then I'll mix up that neutral or He'll mix up neutral air with a, you know, approaching short hop Paralyzer or retreating one shooting in neutral air, so it's, it's kind of like a, a veiled wall. And the idea behind it, from what I understand and having played with it a little bit, is if you're able to neutral air, then that starts your combos. You can go for a grab, go for forward smash, go for all kinds of stupid things off of neutral air, off of a hit confirm. At the same time, if people shield, that's not very good for you uh, as zero suit, so you want to be able to get them off the ground. And the best way to put that out is by putting a paralyzer out. So you're gonna like the neutral air is trying to, to open up, it's kind of a wall game to play off of. And then you shoot out the paralyzer just in case they give you just so you can use it to advance the space and control the zone. Because if I just try to like uh, just shield the fragger for a second. Like if I try to advance with neutral air and do that, then I get shield grab for the most part. If I if I try to advance it, then I get shield grab, and then if you're getting if you're playing a Diddy Kong. You're getting lit up for a million HP uh, down throw. Up air, up air, up air, up air, up air, up air, up air. But you use the paralyzer as a way to uh, be able to approach and uh, control some of that space. As well as, so that, yeah, that's the advancing neutral air and the retreating neutral air. They're just baits to try to open up the wall. And then you have the retreating paralyzer, the advancing paralyzer, all the, you know, either passively try to control space or aggressively try to control space. Um, that being said, the counter option and the, or the counter play on the part of the opponent is if I'm here in the air, let me see if I can draw on the, uh, I have a little drawing app here. So your opponent, if they're right here on the ground, they're going to want to go ahead and try to go this way just straight on the ground to cover the space and they can cover on those options like using dash shield, uh, an aerial, something along those lines, and Paralyzer in this case gets beat by that dash shield because they just covered all the ground. Of course, you throw out that neutral air retreating in order to counter, you know, the, the shield play at that point. But at the same time, in the event they, uh, they misjudge, um, if you think about what you can do in dash, like for Diddy, uh, dash and hold shield, Fragger. See how there's a little gap? Gotta go back. Like, there's a little gap before you can get your shield up. If you were to get hit by the Paralyzer or Neutral Air in that, you know, during that instance, that sets up. So you can use this, you know, Paralyzer, like right there, you know, you can use that. If I hit Confirm that Paralyzer, you can go for a grab. You can use that to kind of try to bait them into approaching unnecessarily along the ground and maybe try to catch them out of that dash, initial dash animation, and really, you know, get things going because if your opponent's stationary against your student and all they have to do is shield, then your opponent's, you know, really at an advantage. Just playing the neutral game with this character is very mind-numbing if your opponent knows exactly what to do. So that being said, I think from the nuances of it, the short hop paralyzer is very good at, you know, controlling space, but at the same time, you're able to bait out trying to hit them out of that initial dash if they overcommit to try to punish you. 
So that gets back into, let's talk about Dakwa's uh, alternative option, or maybe not necessarily alternative, but that grounded special reversal. So in this instance, you run away. Oh god, my tech skill's terrible, excuse me, because I don't normally do this. A lot of why I'm not going to lie that I choose to go for the Choco one is it's significantly easier to perform. Just you flick behind you and then you shoot out Paralyzer or you Neutral Air. Um, Paralyzer right there. You can see what the advantage of this is. Um, you're able to throw out that Paralyzer as an option. And it's augmented by the fact that Zero Suit Samus as a character is fairly fast. And in order to like really chase down a character that's fairly fast to really put yourself in punishing range... You have to commit very hard and, you know, almost, if you have a character that's good at it, you have to run faster than her. So if I'm, like, playing, like, next to Diddy and I go for that, you know, I can run away. And if he tries to chase after me on the ground, he's going to run into Paralyzer out of that initial dash. It's that whole entire trying to bait them and hit them out of the initial dash before they can get their shield up. Um, at the same time, since it lends itself towards covering that, you know, really, you have a lot of freedom when you're going to set up. Outside of the only negative is you can't paralyze her until you go into run, or you go, uh, or the end of your, at least the end of your dash animation, you, can, you know, true, uh, true pivot, or you can uh, be reversal out of run, but you can't do it out of dash. So you have to, there's like a spacing requirement, but you have to give up X amount of finite space in order to do that. But it's not too much different than say, if you were to short hop. Like if I were, let's say I'm gonna sit here at the uh, very edge of FD short hop paralyzer I'm about that far away right and you can see actually oh actually that's pretty interesting the uh, spacing requirement looks like to do it out of run it's very similar you know I would have said that if you just do a natural short hop it goes pretty far but it's not very you know there really isn't too much of a difference in spacing requirements I guess there really isn't too much outside of you know I can I can short hop paralyzer forward you know, or towards my opponent as opposed to you have to commit pretty hard running at them in order to do an aggressive one there you know there's that finite like range like if you can imagine like right around here on zero suit oh stop moving the camera uh, stop moving stop moving like right, there's a range like right here that you're not able to laser and you can only laser once you get past this zone on the camera just because of not being able to paralyze her directly out of dash so that being the case, talking about it, what we were originally talking about, obviously one of the easiest way to get to, uh, you know, to go around Paralyzer per se is to just, you know, jump over it. So if I were to run away and do that, you just jump and you get forward there, you see. So if you think about it, in terms of the counter game, one of the ways, you know, in terms of the wheelhouse for this character and in trying to really play to her strengths, a whole entire, you know, the whole entire point of doing short hop neutral air and short hop paralyzer is to hit them with the moves so you can, you know, play the neutral game that way. If you use this way, you know, if you use the uh, grounded one and they're in the air, you can just, you know, preemptive forward air right there, preemptive uh, up air, preemptive forward air. You can even turn around and throw out a back air. That's kind of an option that I've been liking lately. Uh, you can even, you know, dash forward and try to up smash it. You know, there, there are various different things that you can do, and I think doing it grounded this way lends itself more towards your opponent is more likely to jump over it as opposed to try to really, you know, shield it because I don't think very many people are going to aggressively chase somebody running away like that. They're only going to aggressively try to go in if you're setting up hopping around out of their out of their zone. That being said, I don't necessarily know if one is better than the other. Um, it probably might be very matchup dependent. I think in terms of working off near zoning, the uh, Choco short hop one lends itself towards mixing up because you know it's very difficult to tell if I'm going to go with the laser or go with the neutral air until I'm on my way down and you don't know which one it is. They obviously both lose the shield, so that's not the most amazing thing. But you know, I could you can still really surprise your opponent sometimes or get them with a the neutral. It, it kind of you know it mixes up, but it mixes up to an effect where it still loses the shield, but at the same time. You have the uh, the grounded one, which is a technically harder option. So, unless you know, uh, removing the ease of use as being an issue, which at high level play sometimes that becomes a problem. You end up with a lot of getting your opponent into the air is a very you know very solid response to what you want. To, you know, if, at the end of the day, getting them in the air is a very good option as well. 
it just it doesn't look as you know there's not as much mix-up potential to it it's very I guess straight line um, compared to you know one option two option you're not sure which one it is as compared to if you run away you know I guess the mix-up options if you run away or to do that because I think you can also do that short hop side special but side specials are pretty terrible move overall let's be honest with ourselves the other thing I like too about the short hop is you can mix up with a double jump there on people that always gets the, that's the funniest uh, funniest option to use um, one of the uh, oh, one of the flexibilities that you can use for the grounded one though that I like is uh, utility in the offensive game. Uh, stand right here, like in the middle of the FD for a second. So if we're like playing the paralyzer game, like I run away, paralyzer. There's this, there's the mix of options where you run past somebody and pivot grab them. Well, in this game, you can also going for grabs are inherently ris risky, so you just run past them. And it's, uh, I didn't want to do that. You do that behind them. Because if they try to spot dodge the pivot grab, then oh God, technical errors. If they spot dodge the pivot grab, then that sets them off to getting, you know, set, sets them off to getting hit by paralyzer or something like that. And you can use the charge on the paralyzer to, you know, read their spot dodges or even their rolls if they uh, try to counter it with a roll. Not many people try to counter that option with a roll for some reason. They should do that more often, especially in this game. We'll see the meta game evolve that way at some point down the line, but that's what, until that happens down the line. And then you can even get, you know, mix up instead of grounded, just <laughs> short hop, turn around, paralyzer instead. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, freedom to work with paralyzer. So instead of only working with short hop, paralyzer, we have a lot of, you know, just being able to short hop, paralyzer, short hop, neutral air, be reverse paralyzer, be reversed, uh, or grounded, uh, plasma whip, all kinds of stupid stuff. So that's. If you guys could follow that at all in terms of uh, the logical sequencing, then that's great. If not, you know, I, I made this video for Dakbo. I'll be honest, so as long as he understands it, then uh, that's great for me. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sure uh, thank you for Fragger for being the Diddy uh, moving around for me and to kind of illustrate some of the points. Thank you.